Okay, we're back with part three. We're gonna get something for the door to get the Pillar of Jupiter. So we're gonna call the cook. Ball's head pub, this is Tommy. Hello, Tommy. Hi, this is Nancy Drew. I'm supposed to call you if I want some food. Right, right, Nancy Drew, out at the old Blackmore Manor, are you? Yeah. You must be Ank Marvin up there. Pity about your kitchen, but we'll fix you up for some Bex and Posh. Just tell me what you'd like. Uh, okay. What do you have? We've got some loop-de-loop, -loop, bangers and mash, a real fine pinky and perky, and a delicious dog's eye, me fork and knife, just rubber duck. Hello? Um, <laughs> could you repeat that? Sure, we've got some loop-de-loop, -loop, bangers and mash, pinky and perky, and a dog's eye, and they're all Robin Hood. I'd like some pinky and perky, please. I'd like some pinky and perky, please. Good choice. Uncle Fred and Johnny Rudder? Okay. Uh, okay. All right, then. We'll come round and leave it at your Rory. Oh, and we've got no hot potato about, so it might take a bit. But we'll have it up to you in no time. Fish and taters. Okay. Now we're gonna co go out of my room for a little bit. And then come back. And it should be there. Right? Maybe not. I'm trying to get the food to come. It'll come. I'm just impatient. That must be the food there I ordered. There we go, quick. Looks like pinky and perky is turkey. I knew that. No, pink, oh, yeah it this is. Smells this smells delicious. Is the other thing he said. We're gonna get the chicken, we're gonna eat that, and we're gonna mm, take the butter. I can use my Johnny Rudder to grease up that lock outside Jane's room. Thanks. Okay. So let's go do that. This will loosen things up in there. These all have to do with um, the tapestry in Jane's room, so we're going to get down right now. And we're gonna read this again. As the moon rises upon thee, fear not, but draw upon a strength of absent friends and toast to their memories and happiness and wonder. With a stalwart heart of a knight, let charity be thy guiding angel. Stay firm in knowledge as a dedicated geometer and fear not the ravages of father time. Mm -hmm. For dear child, as you learn the lessons of folly, the secrets of this world shall dawn in thy soul. Okay. So this is the moon, this is the sun, this is what's supposed to be charity, see so he's giving. This is father time, this is strength, uh, these are glasses, this is like the jokester or jester. Um, this is the angel, this is the compass, and this is the night, or whatever. Um, we're gonna move the moon the up, sun up, and we're gonna move them this way. We're gonna move the atlas there, father time, left, and then up, and then right.
Okay. And then charity. There we go. Okay. Now, hmm. That was the Jupiter thing. Trying to remember. Hmm. Pay no attention to the bird behind the curtain. What do I do now? I'm gonna go through this area again. Oh, what were you about to say? Um, okay. So down, down. I think up. Okay. Instead of going through, we're gonna move that statue. And it should drop. Whoops. It should drop. Was it this way or was it the other way? I think it was the other way. No, was this way? I think. It's. We have to turn. Not the statue thing. I remember now. We have to turn the well. So when we get to the maze area, we have to turn back and go this way. And this should be another door. Oh, what am I doing? What the hell am I doing?
I'm at the bottom of the well. What is this? My dear little Jane, just a quick note. Enclosed is what you request. I hope it will help you. Your guinea pig has certainly helped me. All the best, Uncle Roger. So this is the bottom of the well. What we have to do is turn it on. This reminds me of that picture I saw in the mutist labor. This is I'm supposed, supposed to press the button under the blue triangles I want to move. Then press the one under the group I want to move them mm -hmm. to until I wind up with a group of just four triangles. Yes. So you want to put all of them in this one. Like leave four, like one, three, and then one. So what we do is we put f uh, one here. What? Let me do that over. Okay, reset. I'm doing it wrong. Okay. I should not go back. I should just. Ugh. Okay. We put that in there. Reset. I'm not doing it right. Now we have to go to the conservatory because we just did the well. We just did the well. Um, that's the well to that frog puzzle. I feel like things are gonna pop at me any second, but I don't think it's possible in these kind of games right now at this point. Um, but every time I'm in the dark, I'm like, something scary is gonna pop out. <sighs> Okay. Oops. We're gonna work on the well here. Okay. Now what? It's a game based uh, on that children's book John Pendleton wrote. You just had to click on the frog first. There we go. And it's across. Now I think we get a knight's helmet. It sticks out its tongue. Cool. I'm gonna talk to Miss Drake right now. We already filled her plants. Okay. Have you seen? The well is filled up again. It's very curious, but quite wonderful. I spoke with Mr. Tucker at the Boar's Head Pub, but frankly, I'm not at all sure what he said. I spoke with Mr. Tucker at the Boar's Head Pub, but frankly, I'm not at all sure what he said. 
Yes, his language is quite colorful, isn't it? He's Cockney, you see. My brother Alan and I loved to make up Cockney rhymes when we were young. We drive our governess quite batty. Haven't got a pot of glue. Haven't got a pot of glue. Oh, how we teased her. Pot of glue? Pot of glue? A clue, dear. Haven't got a clue. Rhymes with glue, you see. Goodbye. Oh, okay. Run along. Okay, so I'm gonna go do that statue thing. Where the Nigel guy is. Um, I think it's behind this guy. I just gotta, um, where is it? Oh, did that scare you a little? Sorry. It's so dark. It's so scary. Um, I don't know why I'm scared. It's really stupid. Okay. So we have a people here, as you can see, because we accidentally moved him. And we scare Nigel. So we're just... <laughs> these are... You don't have to move these. This side controls its... Uh, what side it turns. This one controls the, his eyes. His eyes have to look straight, right? So, let's do it. Maybe this was some kind of security system that Eleanor devised when she- <laughs> You're gonna hear him screaming again. It takes a couple hours. Okay. So, again, his eyes were looking down last time. Are... I'm gonna go see. Oops. It sucks because it's all you have to guess. You have to guess. You don't know. We at least have it turned the right way. We just have to go see if his eyes are looking straight ahead. Or if he let go of his grip. There we go. His eyes are like, ugh, take it. Like, his up. I don't know. But, we got it. Um... He disappeared, so... I'm just snooping and seeing if there's anything else to note. No, not really. He doesn't really have much on his computer. Okay. The next thing we have to do is go to our room. We got the wand. We have to go to our room. And you see this? Oh, not that. Down here that we were trying to find something for. We use a compass thing. And it's an astrological thing. So you gotta know which one is to press um And then it should give you the next thing. It's the moon. We, I believe, got the password for the computer, so we're gonna do that now. But we have to change our um, clocks to 4 a.m. or midnight. Someone do that real quick. 4 a.m., maybe 3. 4. I'm gonna do it 3 a.m.
Oh yeah, this. We have to go investigate real quick. <laughs> Creepy. Who is that? Grab that. Hmm. I wonder if these are what made those red eyes I saw outside the night I arrived. Yeah. Okay. So what we need to do is we need to go enter the password that we had a lot earlier in the last video. When we asked Jane for the password, the password is Pergamentum. Welcome, my adventurous friend. Don't tell my sister, but there are ghosts in Blackmore Manor. Thirteen of them to be exact. The problem is they're very shy, so they only come out when it's very late at night, usually just after midnight. And even then, they only show up in quiet places, like the Great Hall, and the hallways, and the conservatory. What's worse, they'll only come out for a very short period of time. But if you can find and touch all 13 ghosts in the time you're allotted, come back here and I'll give you a prize. One which I guarantee you'll enjoy. So who's ready to go on a ghost hunt? I am. Remember, you mustn't waste any time. Our little chums won't stay visible for long. So, on your mark, get set, go! go. Oh, wow. So, oops. There's that one here. There's one on this pillar, if I'm not if I'm remembering correctly. Uh, we're gonna look in here. Three down, ten to go. Oh my gosh. There's like three in here, I believe. Um, sometimes I gotta turn around and find them. Or there might be two, I don't know. Is there anything else here? No? Okay. So, there's one right here. Oops. There's two in the conservatory, if I remember. There's one this wall here. Other way. Oh my god, we cannot turn it quick enough. And there's one down there under the... Um... Come on, quicker, quicker. Okay, so we got all the ones down, I think. Oh my god, go quicker. Thanks. We got those. Ten down, three to go. Cross room. room. Scratch marks. Like something was trying to get into my room. Oh, not yet. <laughs> Please just take it away. But how can you expect to feel better oh if my you don't eat properly? And from now on, just bring me what I ask for. A healthy digestive system. I'm not gonna be able to do this. Yes, Mrs. Rose. Stop, Miss Drake, what you doing? I need a... Oh my gosh. Hmm. Intern looks like some sort of charm. Okay, thanks. Did I get them all? Sometimes we can do it again. Okay. Oh my god. There's one I'm missing, huh? Hmm. Huh. There's obviously one I'm missing. Uh, let me check here again. I know I got the ones in the... Uh, there we go. There, ghost number 13. There's like three in there, okay. Pergamentum. Congratulations, you're one of the few people who have seen the 13 ghosts of Blackmoor Manor. As a reward, I'm going to let you in on a little secret. When you are facing the green dragon, look to the left and pull below the vase with the tree. But a word to the wise, if you're wearing a hat, hang on to it, have fun! Okay, thanks. 
So there's a fun little thing we get to do in this game, and that is. Polly, I just got my bag, Polly. I didn't know your name was Polly now. Um, we're gonna go down the slide. Fun! Whee! I wish I had one of these. <laughs> Actually, I wish I had a swim pool and then a slide to go from my window to the pool, but I don't have a pool and I don't have a giant slide <gasps> on my I window. I guess I should explain. I see you did not heed my warning. Girl, calm down. I realize you are very curious She gives me weird vibes. Moment, but know this. These passageways can only lead to misfortune for the uninitiated. And I am not only speaking of physical peril. Would being initiated... Initiated have anything to do with the secret rituals in the middle of the night? Hmm? Would being initiated have anything to do with secret rituals in the middle of the night? Nancy, I know you're a good person and mean well. Mm -hmm. And I understand you feel compelled to discover what is happening to Linda. But I also have certain duties which may conflict with yours. I will not interfere as long as I am prohibited from doing so. But know that the instant I receive the word, you will no longer be welcomed in Blackmore. Good day. Okay, girl. Well, there was a bullseye thing that we needed to do. So, because you saw that bullseye target there. I could try to hit the bullseye I saw when so I went down that go slide do with that a cricket again. ball. Um. And the winner is Ludo. Okay, let's hopefully we get the aim. <laughs> there we go. We got the clock thing piece. Time piece, whatever. Okay, now we can light the forge. We got all the pieces. Now the forge is here. We just have to put each in its proper spot. Um, we have to light this thing. Hmm. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start here. They all have to like form like a square around the middle. Um, so we're gonna put that there. And you see these pipes? So this one, it goes this way. Okay. This one should have the lightning thing. This one should go like this. And then this is a knight. This one should go like this. See? So it's like what my mouse did. And then this side is supposed to be um, the arrow. This one's should be like that, I believe. And then this one is the moon. Where's the moon? Okay. See what I'm getting at, everyone? Um, people watching. I don't know what I'm saying. And this one is the wand. I think it did it right. I don't know what I'm doing now. Okay, I sound like I did something right. Hold on, what? Oh, I did something. Okay. So, those were the pipes we had to do. Um, hmm. What do I do now? Hmm. We're gonna go to where the forge is. Oh, it's a pretty bird in the mirror. Okay. So that's over here. <laughs> 
We're gonna go past the maze, or in the maze, but we gotta get back to that forge room. So... see where is it that's a secret okay we can go I already did that so now we're here and hear that deer it running We gotta go over here and do this puzzle. Hmm. So we're using this knight. This is our little thing. Um. I think. I think we do this. Okay, so basically. The winds move in ra random patterns. Um, you want to stick to the squares where the pits are um, rather than the sides or the top. That way you can't be blown into one of the pits. You don't want to be blown into one of the, or whatever. You want to, hmm. It's weird. You don't want to fall into that. And it's totally random, I think. catch all four winds is basically what we have to do. There we go. Oh, we gotta start over. Fuck. I'm just pressed to start. See, it's totally random. fall into a pit either, so we're gonna try to get them when they're not trying to get us. So you gotta you have to catch the winds and you can't be blown into the area. So stay away from that area. So annoying. It's totally random. You don't, can't really win. No. Okay. 
so annoying. No. Okay. Okay, we're almost close. Shit. Fuck off. Perfect. Oh no. Ew. Okay, I'm gonna go. Oh. Okay, hold on. I'm trying not to get in the middle of the... Let's see if I can go this way. So
and I'm gonna go down. There we go. Okay, I got him. Now we can go this way. This way. This way. I'm gonna go this way. This way. This way. So I don't go back here. I'm just gonna keep doing that. Because it can only go this way. It won't lead me into. So go shit. There we go. It sounds like air is going to the forge. Okay. We did it. So now. Air is going to the forge. Hmm. We have to go back to the second floor, I believe, and go through the gargoyle door. Or I think... Actually, no, no, now I remember. Pay no attention to the bird behind the curtain. I think it's this one. We have to use the wand. Actually, no, no. We have to touch the different gargoyles with the wand. Who's a pretty bird in the mirror? Who's I think there was one right here. I think it was. Was this one? Maybe it was that one. And the winner is Lulu. I'm trying to remember. What was it? Was there other gargoyles? I swear. Oh, these gargoyles. That's right. With the wand, right? Wait. There's something I have to do. There's about three, I believe. Three different gargoyles. Let me see. Can't check. That's done. Check. Check. We have to light the gargoyles and then light this thing. Oh. Do I do it far away? Oh no, it's right there. We have to tap it. Right? I'm gonna have to use a hint. We lit up the fort. We did all this. Pay no attention to the bird behind the curtain. Hello, bird. Say goodnight, Gracie. What's that supposed to mean? Everyone's sleeping. Go to your room and set your clock. Uh, what time do most people get up around here? 6 a.m. 6 a.m. 
6 o'clock or 6 a.m. Ah, sweet dreams. Oh, the pretty bird in the mirror. 6 a.m. I wonder if that'll trigger anything. 6 a.m. Santa's coming. Oh, <laughs> Now can I have a hint? Felicity! The door! The door! Hello! How about a hint? Talk to me! Any hint as to what the deal is with the bullseye pass when I went down that slide? Any hint as to what the deal is with a bullseye I passed I when I went down that slide? Cricket has the ball! Cricket has the ball! Ready? Aim! I fire. already did that though! Bye, bird! Bob's your uncle! Hmm. Let me see if I can talk to anybody. I hate getting stuck. Oh, that's right. She's in her meeting. Can I do the gargoyle thing now or not? I swear I could have. I guess not. Where's Nigel? He's literally gone. He's not coming back. Oh boy. Am I stuck? Is Nancy Drew game stuck or something? I'm gonna see where my streak is. Yes? Do you believe that Blackmore Manor is haunted? Do you believe that Blackmore Manor is haunted? No, of course not. I've lived here for many, many years, and I can tell you without a doubt that absolutely no ghosts walk these halls. An occasional odd creak here and there, yes, but no ghosts. But I do sometimes wonder if those who have passed away remain with us, lingering on. I miss my brother terribly, and I sometimes wonder if he is in some way still here. Why did he put that charm above Linda's door? Why did you put that charm above Linda's door? Wh what? I fail to see why that is any of your concern. But if you must know, I was only trying to help Linda. Oh, I am at a loss as to what to do about her. A complete loss. Sometimes extraordinary situations require extraordinary measures. I thought that perhaps a charm would help. Whatever it is that's plaguing that poor thing. Goodbye. Goodbye. Good day. Good day. Okay. Well, Nigel's nowhere to be found, and... I talked to Miss Drake. Um, I'm gonna see what I can do here. Oh, there we go. I touched the ears. And I'm timed here. Am I doing it right? This wand probably works through magnets. Oh, I see. Okay, that's what I needed to do. I need to touch their ears. Okay. So we start with this one. Once more. Oops. And now we light the. You're gonna need a bigger bolt. No. Yeah, I probably will need a bigger boat, Lulu. Okay. Oh my god. Oh no. Okay, let's try this again. So what you want to do is you want to light up these. Ugh, 
Then you want to go to the forge, I think. Right? Am I doing it wrong? Okay, I need to do this over again. I know which one I missed. It's the gargoyle down there. No. We're gonna do okay, this again. let's try this again. Let me do this one. Then we go down this real quick and we touch the one. There we go. Whoa, something tells me I just succeeded in lighting the forge. And that's how you light the forge. God, I'm taking so much time with this. <laughs> okay, and now we're gonna go to the forge area. Felicity, the door, the door! I love that bird so much. Okay. Hmm. Let's look at this. By pulling out different plugs, I can create different patterns in the mold. We had to look at the family crest in order to do this, by the way. I think that's it, right? No, I don't think I did. Okay. There, that looks right. So we had to mold the thing. It looks right. We had the right buttons pressed. We just needed to do that. Okay, let's do this. Whatever you just found uh -oh. is mine. I'm the pendant and not you. We're Besides, at the end. I would have found it before you did if I didn't have to sit there all day learning all that other silly rubbish. What is that? That is a Pendolin treasure. That is the Pendolin treasure. A rock? 600 years of secrets and mystery and puzzles all because of a stupid rock? No way. There must be something under it. No, don't touch it! What do you mean I'm by- I'm sorry I was meeting you before. I'm sorry for everything. What do you mean by everything? What do you mean by everything? It's my fault, Linda's sick. I mean, she's not really sick. That's cruel. I just made a sink she is. 
I left that person oh, in the room and gave her allergy pills and put her medicine in the moisturizer. Why? I just wanted to go away. I just wanted to be daddy and me and mommy, my real mommy. Please don't make me talk anymore, Nancy. There's no air in here. I can't breathe. I've got to figure out a way to get that box off of her fast. You need to fall. You need to put this guy in the trap. So. There we go. Thank you, dude. Now you better feel guilty, Jane. Thank you. Dear Ned, well, there is a beast of Blackmore. Jane, she made poor Linda think she was turning into a monster by putting her uncle's hair hey. restorer in Linda's moisturizer. She also slipped Mrs. Drake's allergy pills into Linda's food so she'd feel Ew. woozy all the time. An extremely dangerous thing to do. Yep. Needless to say, Jane's father was very upset, especially when he found out Jane had done it because she still wants him and her real mother to get back together. After Jane apologized to Linda and Hugh apologized to both of them, they all resolved to do whatever it takes to become a real family. As for Blackmore Manor, ever since I told him about all the passageways and gadgetry I discovered, Hugh has become fascinated with his family history and has asked, no, ordered Ethel to teach him what she's taught Jane. And while he doesn't believe for a second that the meteorite in that old alchemy lab has magical powers, he has encouraged Jane to come up with a puzzle to help ensure its safekeeping, just as initiates have been doing for centuries. Which reminds me that Pendle and swore me to secrecy when it comes to all their traditions. So don't tell anybody any of this, okay? Nigel suspected something was up when he came to get his laptop and has been hounding me ever since. This is just the kind of stuff he'd love to include in that unauthorized tell-all he's trying to write. If he calls me one more time, I'm telling on him. To Mrs. Drake. <laughs> That'll teach him. Ever yours, Nancy. Bam there, what did I get? I get an award. Hey, Sass Detect, congratulations on cracking the case. You've been awarded the title of Sleuthier Druis. For all around super sleuthing. Damn, is that the biggest award I got? Now this is a trailer for the next game. The year is 1930, and everything is on the rise. Unemployment, government this is secret in the old and clock. organized crime. In the midst of it all, a heroine is born. Armed with only a flashlight, a blue roadster, and a spirited resourcefulness, a 16-year-old detective will go on to inspire hope in the hearts of young girls and curses upon the lips of evildoers everywhere. Okay. Her name? Nancy Drew. Nancy Drew. Secret of the old clock. <clears throat> yeah, it's an old game. <laughs> this is 2004, and this, the next one's 2005. Wow. Okay, so that was Nancy Drew, Curse of Blackmore Manor. Hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more. Bye!